Officials in Canada took time to pay tribute to Joe Biden. I want to thank President Biden for serving the people for 50 years. It's, it's not easy. I saw men of, of, uh, with vision, uh, someone who cared very deeply about people and the kind of person that has, gone, uh, has done so much, not only for the United States, but for the world. Joe Biden always, always acted in the best interests of the American people and the United States of America. And I think yesterday was no exception to that. And with Biden out, no matter what, there will be a different president after the election. What we're doing now as part of Team Canada is to engage with people on both sides of the aisle, making sure that we uh, communicate that this is the what I call the essential relationship. The U.S. is Canada's biggest trade partner, accounting for nearly a trillion dollars in trade in 2022. The message to our American friends, we're your ally, we aren't your enemy. You know, we're stronger together. Democratic leadership candidate Kamala Harris has ties to Canada. She went to school in Montreal. If she's uh, eventually made president of the United States, it would be a really good pick for the relationship between, the can between Canada and the United States. The leader of the NDP says a potential Harris presidency would be historic. For my kids, my daughters to grow up seeing a, or to know that there was a racialized black woman uh, who is a president of one of the most powerful countries in the world, I can't even begin to imagine what that would be like in terms of inspiration. The Canadian government says it's ready for whoever ends up in the White House, but Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said that a second Trump presidency would not be easy. Donald Trump has already promised a worldwide tariff on imported goods, and Ottawa is already in talks with Trump's inner circle to try to push for an exemption. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Ottawa.